What's up, docs and docettes? Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic, here, and it's it's Halloween. I mean, it's sort of Halloween. It's actually howl oween if you want to be technical, and I don't ever want to be technical. And that's actually kind of uh, segues nicely into what I what I want to say about this commentary. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty low baller. Um, this special is could very well be one of the worst of all the paste-ups. Um, so, since there's such a lack of respect given to us, the audience, when they made this thing back in 1977, I see no reason why I and you and my good friend and special guest Matt Hunter of uh, Golden Age Cartoons should treat this thing with any level of respect whatsoever. What do you think, Matt? Oh, yeah, it, it's scary, all right. But... It's, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it, this one. I, I was watching it last night. It is just so witless. Like it has so little respect for yeah. us, the audience. Yeah. And you know, I I never saw it on TV. I was probably busy watching Charlie Brown or or Garfield or something. Yeah, but, I think I think that's what we, we were talking on Facebook last <laughs> yeah. night about this. Neither one of us can have has any recollection of this being on TV. Of course, it came out. I think before, definitely before I was born. Um, yeah. You're a little younger than me, so oh, look at this awful animation! Look at uh, it; it doesn't even try. No, it doesn't no, even it doesn't. try to like. I mean, we're kind of spoiled a little bit with the uh, the you know the the post Daffy Ducks Quackbusters um, of the world, you know, because Quackbusters really was the first time that they made any genuine efforts to match the yeah. art style before they went from the new animation to the. But yeah, this is this really. And this is also weird too because this this thing uses cartoons that use other cartoons and they use both <laughs> versions. You're right. Yeah, like this is uh this is going from uh what broomstick bunny to uh what is it a haunting we will go that were like, you know, made 10 years b between each other. Right. And ironically, when they retrace the stuff for the uh for the Daffy cartoon, they did a better job than the new animators did on this, but yeah. it's all over the place here. Yeah. And and yeah. what I what really frustrates me and just makes me want to bang my head against the wall is when they switch between these different cartoons, they don't make any kind of effort to make it make sense. There's yeah, no that's, narrative that's, to it. It's, yeah, that's the other thing. Not only is the transition from new to, to classic, you know, bumpy, but it's also a, a bumpy road, like, story-wise. Right. Like one minute we're later in the special, you'll see it's like one minute you're you're on the you know moors of Scotland doing Macbeth. And then the next minute you're back in in Witch's house. That's <laughs> yeah. like what? How? How? What? Yeah. You know, and we're going from, you know, Frizz Freeling Sylvester to Chuck Jones Sylvester. And one minute Porky's there and the next minute, where'd he go? You know, where'd he come from? Where'd he go? On he's not Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> <laughs> on, he's from Texas, everybody. Uh, <laughs> on paper, though, it's like, you, 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 like if you look this up on, on Wikipedia, you could see that the amount of classic uh. anime, I know, right? And they're trying to do that brilliant Maurice noble you know painted on background you know wallpaper 3d object wallpaper like he was really playing with with you know um like all sorts of stuff but then you know they can't really do it but yeah what's what's weird is that it's it's like if you look okay, at okay who's this guy we, you know yeah, like say you've never seen hide and go tweet before you don't know who that guy is right like what but yeah, like if you're looking at it, if you're looking at this on like say Wikipedia and you you see all of the cartoons and you can see on paper again how much of the this original animation is used, how little brand new animation there is, you you would say to yourself, "Okay, how bad could it really be?" But it's the choices are so bad, the cutting is so bad, and the new the bad stuff is so bad that it almost outweighs the good of the original footage like this yeah. thing here it's it's um you know they're gonna cut to sylvester in hide and go tweet in a minute and the premise is is that sylvester is on the windowsill <clears throat> and he can hear bugs talking to the doctor here but yeah you only realize that about 10 seconds after it happens and you go oh he was okay like you don't realize what 
<laughs> what's going on in real time with this. No. No. <laughs> it's like and, right here, right here. See? Yeah. Like, why did we cut to Sylvester there? You know, it's Where, like, like uh -huh. yeah. And it's like it, and it's again on paper. It's like in the room, Dave Detij could Detij could have been or Detij or however you say his name, Dave Detij, Doc. Detij, yeah, yeah, one of the specials. That screwball directed Dave, Dave Detij, but like <laughs> Detij could be saying to Frizz, oh well, then he, you know, he's in inside with that, you know, with that hide, you know, that hide cartoon with bugs. But then we 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 cut outside because Sylvester's outside, like. Again, on paper, it works. But once they actually cut it all together, it doesn't work. And no one's like, well, we spent the money. We can't reshoot it. What is this? That's yeah. ah, for TV. Who cares? Something else I should say, by the way, we've been very good so far, Matt. But um, something I should say to the audience here, we don't... Uh, I, I don't swear much in these commentaries, and when I do, I bleep them. But uh, we're probably going to be swearing a lot on, on here because we <laughs> yeah. are. there's not... Now this this is classic. No matter where you see it, <laughs> yeah, Looney, but, Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. Uh, we rec yes. we recorded this. We're recording this in uh, April. Actually, uh, we're pretending that it's 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 Halloween uh, right now, but it's actually April. And uh, Looney Tunes World of Mayhem just put out uh, the, their Tweety character, and it's this Tweety. It's the Hyde Tweety. Yeah, um, and I'm proud and to. They, there's a commercial that they do that bit. Look at that, that weird, in, again, weird cutting. They cut out a whole bunch of stuff. Right, they, they edit the sh out of this. Like, they, they do. They, they Completely they, incongruous. They, yeah. Yeah. But I am proud to say, I do want to pat myself on the back here. Um, the uh, if, if you're playing Lenny Tunes World of Mayhem and you're playing that Tweety character, uh, you do actually have me to thank because uh, the, uh, the actual, there are no good copies of Hide and Go Tweet. Uh, anywhere in existence even on boomerang the version on boomerang looks like ass it does it looks like somebody wiped their ass with it and it's time compressed <laughs> yeah yeah it's God, like yeah. These, these time compressed that things that were done in the 80s they were done for british tv because yeah, in, in the in, pal format in, pal mm -hmm. format yeah and somehow they wound up being the standard for for tv broadcast and even modern streaming broadcast and it's freaking stupid well i don't know why they do that but well anyway. pal pal is the standard in in europe but um and there's tweety about to say something but then they cut away but yeah, yeah. now we're in and, and look at the oh <laughs> god who would like who who draws that and says yeah that's okay <laughs> Who uh, approves it is what I want to know. Like, who, who yeah. says, okay, that looks good enough to I'll tell to you who. It. I'll tell you who. F***ing Jew hater himself, Hal Gear. Je I have it on, uh, I can't, I, I'm, I'm sworn to secrecy, unfortunately. I can't say, uh, reveal my sources, and there are multiple, but uh, a lot of people who worked with him have, have said that Hal Gear, the producer of this gorgeous piece of animation, oh. <laughs> is uh, it was anti-Semitic. Which again, huh. I wonder about because how how did how were his interactions with Frizz? <laughs> I was going to say with with, with, a, with a, a Jew boy from Kansas City, you know, like come on, man. But I, I will say about that scene that we just saw that uh, they got June Foray back, and she did a phenomenal job yeah. on that. Just like the voice work she did with that. You don't scare me. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it is, oh man. It is interesting, <laughs> isn't it? That you know, no matter how bad the animation and the writing and whatever and the producing and everything of a thing can be even at its worst like the best thing about like the best thing about daffy duck and porky pig meet the groovy ghoulies is mel you know yeah, yeah. something about that thing that thing sucks too but. oh my god that thing sucks <laughs> out loud well it's filmation it's gonna suck but yeah there's something about you know mel and june and and the best voiceover actors and you know it's like even if Space Jam 2 sucks out loud, if they get Eric Bowser to do it, it'll it'll you know, the bugs will be will be good. You know, and then yeah, the stuff that he yeah. does does will be good. There's something untouchable about a good voice actor. Yeah. It doesn't oh no. <laughs> what the hell? To, well, maybe we should be having like a drinking game or something. Every time the animation makes you want to throw up in your mouth, you do a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We'd be, we'd, I think we'd both be blasted before this oh, thing was even no, over. Oh no, she showed her <laughs> to the audience. 
Oh. <laughs> she's just like, well, you like. You well, know, she rides yeah. side saddle, so it proves she's a lady. You, you know, know what that is? That That's a shout out from Chuck Jones to June Foray, because eventually they did hook up. Um, did they? Oh, yeah. 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 Chuck was yeah. Um, Chuck was a... Uh, he was not. He was not the the best husband. <laughs> uh, we wonder where we get the Pepe Le Pew. Oh from, yeah, no? yeah, we. Yeah. Oh. He, he 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 would say very often in the interviews. Oh, the one I identify most with is Daffy. It's like what really Don Juan? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, me thinks well, he you, and, he me and, thinks uh, you doth because you know, when he would when he would have when he would talk about Pepe Le Pew, he would always be like, "That's the guy or character I identify with the least." And he would go out of his way to be like, "I'm just a tall nerd." Blah, blah. It's like me thinks you doth protest a wee bit too much, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> right, Jones. Right. <laughs> and, and apparently, the the writer Ted Pierce was much oh, the yeah. same way. Ted Pierce yeah. was kind of a womanizer, ladies' man, and some of those gags in Pepe cartoons were yeah. were based on him. Let's put it this way. The extra oh. D was was not needed for the namesake, so much yeah. as it so much as it was for <laughs> ensuring that the name carried on. <laughs> there were there was, now, there now was we're back extra to, D. to reused yeah. reused slash reused. Yeah, here. <laughs> but, you know we, we reused Chuck Jones in the DePatty Freeling, and then we revisit it with DePatty Freeling. You know, th yeah. this is all like you know well, over this, a span of forty years. Which cartoon know? is this again? This is a haunting. We will go. This was one of the yeah. first ones that they did after the, the I don't shutdown. Know why. I don't know why, but I've always loved. I will say I love the color in this cartoon. Yeah, I it's, don't know why. It's not bad. It, you know, for for something that that cribs so much old animation, it was just because McKimson couldn't really draw Witch Hazel very well. Which but, is odd that he couldn't do that because yeah. of of you know, the one thing he may not, may not have really gotten. And Chuck went into great detail about this in his second book was one of the. He talked about the, you know, every once in a while, you're making your characters solid and round and everything, but every once in a while, there are things that you do strictly because you can, because it's 2D, because it's, you know, logic with a pen and, and ink, you know, like with Mickey, it's the ears. <laughs> With Mickey, it's the yeah. ears. You know, you don't. the The ears are never explained exactly where they are in his head. What they're just circles. You know, right. what they actually are. And with Witch Hazel, it's her head. It's her forehead going into her hat. Her head yeah. is her head is not shaped that way because if they if she takes the hat off, it has a normal shape. But for some reason, Chuck found it funny to have her forehead go into the hat, and then the top of the hat cuts the head off. Yeah, and if you notice on her on her jawline, there's like a a, a notch kind of in the, her upper lip where the yeah, tooth goes. Exactly. You know, it's 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 a very modern UPA kind of design right. that Chuck was playing around with in the '50s, and it's and, designerly. Uh, yeah, and also here, this now we're getting deja vu because this cartoon is taking from uh, the Chuck cartoon. Right, right, and we cut we cut back and forth to that, and it's like. Uh, this is like you know what this special now, is. This special is like a copy. This, this it's a painting of a copy of a drawing of a Xerox. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> paint, paint by numbers, except oh it's done God. by a three-year-old. Yeah. Uh. Now look at Daffy's feet here. I don't remember when it was I made this point, but I didn't make it well enough, and now it's pretty gone. This era, they stopped giving him webbed feet, and they actually gave him toes. Uh huh. Yeah, and they got those knobby knees too. Yeah. For some knobby reason. knees and toes. What, what happened? I don't know. M McKimson, <laughs> McKimson, his his heart wasn't in it at this point. I guess this yeah. is 1965. He, I think. Yeah, he died. Was, he he died a few years before the special, actually. Yeah, yeah, I know. He was having lunch with Frizz Freeling, I think, and he had a heart attack right in the middle of the restaurant. From what I understand, that's it was correct. really sad. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It was it was actually during a, a conversation where Frizz was telling him all about what this special was going to be. Really? No. <laughs> I mean, I could have, you know, I could, have, I could believe it. I mean, yeah. And he's like, he was like, "Listen, one day we're going to make the characters into anime uh, characters, huh. and we're going to call it Lunatics Unleashed." Oh and, God! And, and McKimson was oh. like, "See, see what I mean? Those little toes. He has toes now. He does. Yeah." 
Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> and and has bugs ever looked worse? I mean, really, people. I've heard com- people go on about Jessica Lynn Barotsky's redesign of, of bugs. I'm like, it never got worse than this. No, this is. You know, at least hers is competent. She's a competent oh character my God. designer. I love what yes. she does. I love it. I love her her work. Yeah. This is the like. You know, one one shot. He now wait. Now this makes no sense. Like we just cut. <laughs> they just heard. They heard him coming. <laughs> what? The, pardon my language, but what the actual? F- what the actual fucking? F- and here's also something else you should note. Um, the colors in this cartoon um, versus the uh, the restoration. The restoration changes the whole tone of this outdoor stuff it doesn't look like it's at night anymore by the way that same exact thing they did in in quackbusters where they changed mel's voice to 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 alter what it was and it just sounds so different they got the pitching wrong the pitching we go from a a, a, a porky pig to a a, 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 a porky pig yeah yeah exactly (laughs) is this for the sylvester (laughs) <laughs> you, you really wish they would have just not made a special and just shown like four or five yeah. halloween kind of cartoons you know they just watch just watch claws for alarm it's a great cartoon you don't have to cut it you don't have to edit it just watch the cartoon i will say this <laughs> i will say this though this is the second in a, a trilogy of cartoons where that, jo- that jones did where uh, Porky, uh, Sylvester is, is Porky's actual cat, not a character uh-huh. that talks. And the gimmick is always that, you know, he's able to see the danger that they're in and Porky's always oblivious. Yeah. I like yeah. the idea that, that this thing kind of does. I like the idea of them making a bigger piece out of all three cartoons, starting with Scaredy Cat. Yeah. But boy, once again, on paper, it's a good idea. But then they actually made this special, and they they f-ed it all up. <laughs> they did it all yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah, they they, they, did a, they, they cut did this gag out here too, where he's explaining, yeah. like they show him attempt to get hung, because he's bottomless. You know, he wants to be hung, and they they show the attempts uh-huh. to get hung. They but then when he performs it, they cut away. Yeah, like what, what the, the hell? F- is that yeah. what the f- is that? Well, you know, on on network TV anyway, they always edited the hell out of this cartoon. And yeah. now, oh, well, now we're cutting to an earlier one. Now we're cutting to Scaredy, Scaredy Cat. Cat. Like what the? F- well, we're cutting to it. I can I can I can give because that was a commercial break. So when you were watching this, oh, there was a whole okay. commercial. You know, the yeah. transition isn't as bad, but yeah. you know, for what it was intended. But still, I get. They're about to cut back to um, Claws for Alarm again, and and it's really jarring. Yeah, <laughs> it's really jarring. They don't, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, they're like 10 years apart in the case of those cartoons, and Chuck drew differently. Very different, so yeah. So it, it doesn't make sense. And I, the funny thing is, all the all the really best gags aren't included because network TVs were a bunch of, you know, the censors were a bunch of p****s, I guess. Yeah. But, you know, you can have a noose, but you can't have a shotgun, you know? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, now we're back to uh, Claws for Alarm. And Sylvester looks very different. The nose is small again, you know. And how you feel, Sylvester? I'm watching it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Sylvester's like, I don't know, man. This special stinks. This, this is one of the most deplorable specials. It's so bad that I'm not even gonna speak in this cartoon. <laughs> I'm scared, speechless. <laughs> speechless. <laughs> how do you like that? Gary is scared by Maurice Noble's interesting design. <laughs> it is a how great would that chair be, and how scary at night would it be if you actually oh, yeah. had that chair in your bedroom? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, now we're back to uh, 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 Scaredy Cat. Scaredy Cat, yeah. But it yeah, it doesn't make any sense because there's not this overall narrative about the well. Okay, now we've got the mice, but this was like. 
Yeah. And there's all the, they, they also had a, um, a new Mel Blanc Porky when they threw him down the stairs, which again is jarring as fuck. What a great cut. Co- I love that drawing. I do too. Oh, I love That's that. Classic. I want that on a shirt. Yes. I actually do have it on a mug. I've got a coffee oh, really? mug that has all of Sylvester's crazy poses from these two cartoons. Nice. And it's, you know, th- there was a series of them that this company called Applause put out in the 90s, and it was, you know, crazy poses. Right. So it's like Bugs Bunny throwing his moon fits, you know, <laughs> from uh, from Hair Devil Hair. And then there's, I don't think I have that one, but then I have Wile E. Coyote's Wild Takes, and there's Daffy with the beak blown all <laughs> different directions. Asunder. Yeah, yeah. It was like one of the few times that they let the, you know, ah. license. Ah. I gotta take a hit. Hold on. <laughs> Rest in peace, Joan. I always say it sounds. I'm saying June, but for some reason, I it always sounds like I say Joan when I say June. I noticed that. I watched the, my my June for a, Oh Jesus! What a. So now now we're now supposed we, to yeah. Oh. Yeah, we're supposed to believe that Count Blood Count is Witch Hazel, or Witch Hazel is Count Blood Count, or because whatever, of that but- one shot, we're supposed to buy yeah. that continuity, and it's all set up so that the the one gag in this cartoon. Speaking of gag, that's what you want to do watching this special. But oh, I know. And the one gag in this cartoon is when he starts saying abracadabra to her, to him, over and over again, and she, he briefly turns into Witch Hazel. They, yeah, that's part of the reason why they picked this cartoon is so that they had that that bridging animation Because as soon as he turns into witch hazel, then the, we cut back to the new crappy hell gear animation Yeah. Spoilers <laughs> Sorry to ruin it for you again here, another animator moment is his nostril I like yeah, a, yeah that that nostril is like a little a loop. It's not an actual nostril. It's just a line loop Yeah not that you'd have any of that kind of, you know, interesting artistic indulgence in the uh, the Hal Gear animation. No, no, just, you don't have. There's, yeah, there's, there's no, there's no artistic nuance there at sp- all. Speaking of which, this is probably one of the last cartoons, or one of the last eras, you know, where they were actually inking the the lines. Because um, mm-hmm. not too long after that is when they started doing the uh, what is basically. The zero graphing of cells, which is basically xeroxing cells, zero graphing. Yeah, well, in the uh, there's yeah. there's a book that I got that's uh, Mark Arnold's De Patty Freeling story, and they talk about that. It was sometime in the you know mid '70s, sometime that they they completely switched to Xerox, and that's why on the Pink Panther, you know, he used to have a pink or a kind of a red outline. Ah. They used a red they used a red grease pencil. Oh. to to you know ink the cells and when they couldn't do that anymore they you know the pink panther's outline was black like everything else because it was xeroxed yeah same but, thing happened with bugs the the line on bugs is um chest because the you know mm-hmm. his the line on his chest is supposed to be invisible if you look at his look at him here you know you can see that the white on his his leg there is just white to gray here it comes now now we're back to the crowd uh-huh um, but, and wow. the, the line on his chest for the white here will probably be drawn. See? Yeah. Yep. Oh my God, that was terrible. That was terrible. Terrible. But see, and oh. look. And, and now we're in. Now we're in uh, Bewitched Bunny, like again. the first witch Hazel, and we've got you know. I, I guess does June dub it here because it was. Let's B. see. Let me it's see the original. Oh no no yeah it is they use B's audio. Um, in this. Because that would have taken way too long to to redub the whole cartoon just to have it be June. Yeah. Plus, she sounds June sounds pretty close to what B did. Yeah. I don't know if that's June there though. I think that's B You're doing that voice there, isn't it? Isn't that what you said? I think, yeah, this is Mel. I think Who wants to be alone on Halloween? Yeah, that's new Mel because he made yeah. a joke about them being. Yeah, I know, but aren't they all? inside isn't that what he said <laughs> no it, aren't they all witches inside oh I think silly said. me that was me projecting <laughs> that, but, was me, that was me oh, pro- oh my god uh, oh thank god it's over <laughs> man. oh jesus sorry mel rest oh. in peace um mel and, mel and june thank 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 you for being with us for your time on this mortal coil but you deserve better these, than this special all these people here under classic <laughs> cartoons are are safe they, yeah. These people, these people need to rot in hell. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except Norm McCabe, because uh, Norm McCabe has been with the studio forever. All right, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>